This is our video demonstration of the uh, KNS 4523 uh, wedge bonder. This is set up with a deep access clamp. So you can see the clamp is above the wedge tool. Right now I have a uh, one mil gall wire on a half inch spool. Uh, some of the options that come with this are the fiber optic lighting and there's a uh, spotlight illuminator. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, uh, what you do is you make a bond and then you place your uh, crosshair, that white light right there and the X, you put that on your bond spot. So, you do have an area light if you need to put the wire, feed the wire through the, uh, the tool or anything like that. You can open and close the clamps with this uh, switch here on the left, right next to your light on off switch. So that'll open and close the clamps. You do have a test button to check your ultrasonics, and that's working there. Uh, while we're here, we have our loop, search, power, time, and force for bond one settings. And on the lower section is for bond two, search, power, time, and force. Uh, we have a, a work holder here. It's set to 150 degrees Celsius using the temperature controller here. And we do have high-low reset level, and that just allows the head to back out if you're using a, a deep package or something like that. So when you go into high mode, it'll rise to this level. Low is the normal setting here. And uh, we do have semi-automatic mode and, and manual Z mode. Uh, what I'm gonna do is semi-automatic mode now. I'll go ahead and do a bond. Using the chessman here, the left button, left side button here. You know, press and hold, that'll bring you to your search height. As you can see, the bond head has stopped. When I release that, it'll continue down to make the bond. It's up to loop, step back, and go ahead and make search two, and then bond two. So you can see that the head is moving. It'll create a tail at the end, so you can go ahead and start your bond one again. Step back and make bond two. Right. I see that I lost the tail a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that through. All right, now I just want to show you the manual Z operation here. You'll flip the switch to man Z and you'll use this black button here on the chessman to move the head up and down. And you can go ahead and just go ahead and make your bond one. Stop at the loop setting and down a bond two. And that's your manual Z operation. All right, that's our demonstration of the uh, 4523 wedge bonder.